tapped in exclusive. We are the internet, yeah, I don't bitch. Fuck, go Drew, on a scale of one to ten, how hard are you? Um, probably like like a four or five. Not the too answer crazy is either. too high. You are high, too high. Every past time. two, too high. You're like <laughs> you're like twelve. I know you are. Anyway, Drew, <laughs> thank you so much for tapping in with us. Thank y'all for having me. <laughs> um, I want to start with well, so tapped in. We talked to like a gajillion different artists. Um, oh, what'd you say? I'll make sure Mike's on. I'll tilt the, bo- the bottom part to you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like right there. Yeah. Pause. There we go. Good. Pull it into you. All that right. was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> um, perfect. So anyway, on Tapped In, you know, we talked to like a gajillion different people. Um, but one thing that I think is interesting is everybody has their own kind of like backstory. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody has kind of their own like origin, like where they come from, how they got to where they are now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like. If you can, for us and really for like our listeners and viewers and everything, take us through like how it started, like where where you come from, because we know you're in Long Beach now. Yeah. But is that like where you're originally from? Yeah. So let me know, like, how do you, you know, yeah. as a kid, what did you do? Like, were you making music really young, or like, what was it like for you? No, nah, it's just funny. As a kid, I wasn't really fucking with. Excuse, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, but no, as a kid, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't really fucking with the music. Uh, Nigga, I thought I was gonna be the next Kareem Campbell for real. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I thought I I, I had all kind of little dreams and shit. But I uh I was I was born on the west side of Long Beach and then I moved to the north. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had that that cliche ass rapper story for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. like realistically. But um I don't bang. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But right. I'm, I'm I'm good everywhere. Right. Right. I stand on business. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, and I and I, and I just kind of maneuver. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, right. I got that kind of story where it's like with this music shit, it really got me opening up more. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, damn, could I talk about you know certain shit? Mm-hmm. Right. But with this, like, even this right here, is it got me opening up? Like, through the through the lyrics, like, all right, my nigga, you can kind of tell people what you're doing. But I had that, I had that that cliche ass story for real. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It, yeah. it sounds like a hundred other nigga story, but through my music, I try to express it where you can really connect to. Yeah, to connect to me more. Yeah, that's true, man. I listened to the latest project. Um, we'll talk about that a yeah. little bit later because I don't want to skip any steps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so as far as growing up, uh, you said you went from, uh, you ended up in the north side. Yeah. Right. So do you have family out there, or was it like just you and your moms, or like what was it? I was really just me and my moms. Yeah, yeah. Just the two. Like, we was really we was in Watts first. From Watts, we moved to the west side. From the west side, I moved to the north, north side. Yeah. So she kind of was like, "Let me get this nigga up out of Watts." <laughs> <laughs> you know. So man, yeah. We just kept moving. Wow. W- what school did you go to in uh, Long Beach? I was homeschooled. Okay. High okay. school, I was homeschooled. Okay. Wow. Same yeah. here. Yeah. Did, did your little packets and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I went to, uh, I was homeschooled. That was by choice or just by, or you was, you was getting in trouble for? No, no, it was, <laughs> no, it was by choice. It's crazy. Uh, eighth grade, the new boys manager put up to my school. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The nigga put up to my school at that time. And I was like, shit, I rap. I ain't even rap for real. <laughs> nigga, like was... two weeks later, I was on their first album in stores. No that nigga hit, way. Like dead ass. That's how this shit went for me. <laughs> all right, so you, all right. I That's know this shit eighth random eighth as fuck. Yeah. See, but you you just Holy said that you shit. just wait wait let's pause. You just said that your story is pretty cliche, but that's not cliche, that's not cliche. as fuck. <laughs> run through, let's run through that. Like all let, I do is listen to yeah, stories. So like right. that's not cliche. Yeah, like well, on a music tip, on right. a music tip. On that's music, how this shit that, started. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that. How'd that all unfold for me? All right, you a young nigga, you going through school, whatever. Yeah. Young boys, uh, you said the. Uh, what did you say? Who the new boys. The new boys manager pulled up at your school. They had like a show there or something? Yeah, he had some other artists that had a show. Okay. I was a TA. And at what I school told, was this us? This was at Bancroft. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 So I told I told the I told the TA, like, hey, the dude who I was working for, I'm like, hey, I rap. That nigga said, go rap for him, man. Nigga, I just what? started freestyling. <laughs> you have bo- wait, you was you all- it was off the strength yeah. of your eighth grade freestyle. freestyle. Eighth grade freestyle. Like no, like no bullshit. That's really Bro. how this shit started. 
That's amazing. Was you already freestyling before? Was you rapping? You said you didn't rap, but you had to have some bars if you like if you was freestyling or was your shit terrible? Now think about it. Was your shit? <laughs> yeah. Now thinking about it, I think my shit was terrible. Right. You know. Yeah. But but probably not for an eighth grader. It was probably yeah, it was a probably swag. Really impressive for eighth grade. Exactly. Yeah. It was impressive enough. It was probably for me to a swag. On the, on the, exactly. You know, he was like, this little nigga got it. Okay, so walk us through that. All right, so boom. You tell the nigga, boom, hey, I rap. I rap. Yeah. So he like, nigga, kick son. Yeah, he like, all right, I got a few minutes. All right. So uh, he was like, hey, man, you hard. He was like, give me your number. Okay. I'm like, say less. Like a week later, the nigga called me. I'm at, I'm at my grandma's house. Okay. I'm like, hey, my sis, dude, we want to highlight at you. You know, I kicked the freestyle for him when I was at school. What? And then literally, uh, like next week, he they had a show in Arizona, and it was funny. It was me. It was a, a kid named Lil Nico. He uh, he was on a rap game, and um, from then like he was like, "Hey yo, this nigga got it." Wow. Like literally, my third song I recorded was that record. Holy shit! Because then I'm like, "Oh shit!" It's funny though, because since I grew up on the West Side, I stayed in these apartments, and it was this kid that was in the apartments. Well, like, I'm in eighth grade. He's probably in, like, 10th grade. He wanted to be a producer. So in his garage, his mama built him a studio. Wow. That's yeah, fine. his mama built him a studio. So this is my friend since six, seven years old. I'm like, hey, nigga, I, want, I need to record some shit. Yeah. And he like, all right, nigga, it's cool. That was it. And that was it. So you had a plug on the studio right <laughs> there. Everything aligned just like that. That's crazy. Like, nigga, my, one of my, wow. closest, my, my closest older friends wind up being a producer. Wow. So, you you get on the album. Yeah. What happens from there? What happened is, uh, I go back to school lit. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm 13 on the out on New Boy's album. Your jerk is just out. Okay. So it's like I'm still in school. So yeah. the shit start bubbling from then. Uh, he tell my mom like, "Hey, I need him to go on a school tour." So that's why I didn't go to regular school in ninth grade. Okay. You know wow. what I'm saying? Because he like, hey, he can't, the, the schedules don't you have to, him. yeah. So that was a blessing and a curse for real. You know, yeah, like, explain, get into that a little bit for You know, because when I say the cliche story, yeah, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a kid not going to school. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the music shit is, 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 is up and down for real. Yeah. It ain't really like, no, hey, he about to be lit. It's just like, hey, go to, all right, he go go to school tours and this and that. Then that falls. So I do right. that, I do that shit for like a year, and now I'm still in home studies. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, I got a lot of free time. Right. You know, so I'm on an album. But if you don't really got the right business side with the music, none of this shit matter. Right. Yeah. Like, right. It doesn't matter how talented you are. Especially when when MySpace and all of that shit is first cracking. It's it's a different time. Yeah. Like you niggas how are you actually put out blowing your, up for yeah, real, yeah. going crazy. You know, like. So long story, me and that nigga, we fall off. Like his, we we don't we don't continue business, but it's like, damn nigga, I didn't, nigga, I'm not in regular high school. I did this, my shit is kind of going, and then now I'm literally like figuring shit out. You know, my mom, yeah, as a kid, like my moms don't know nothing about music. You're in tenth grade, yeah. My pops don't know shit. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, you know, it was kind (laughs) of like, but now I'm into the shit. But the crazy part about it is, uh, I don't know. It was it was a a, a shoe company called Velado. Okay. Back oh. in the day, right? I get sponsored uh, by Velado. I, I joined it. One of the one of the main dudes at Velado, he got like a uh, he's starting a little group. Yeah. I joined a group. We drop a record called Bite Me. Oh. That shit goes stupid. Velado was it V A L A T O? V A L A D O. Oh, D O Velado. Yeah. Why do I Why do I know? Can no, I look it up to. I don't know why I know. I, I've I've seen it before. Yeah, but it's crazy. as in going to like where I start the cliche shit. So yeah, I'm from Long Beach. They from L.A. Right. You know what I'm saying? If niggas know Long Beach and L.A. is totally different. Right. It's like two different worlds. Even though it's the same county. Yeah. Like it's crazy. But so now I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm 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 about to join this shit. We put out a record. It's called Bite Me. It blow up. Uh, it's me, Schoolboy, which was my partner, and um. A few other people. So, and um, to wrap that story up, me and Schoolboy, this wind up being like my big brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my guy. He, mm-hmm. he, I'm, since I, would, since I wasn't in regular high school when it come to a lot of shit, 
I'm I'm with this nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, fast forward, the nigga in a high speed chase, he died in a car accident. Hold he on burned shit. in the car. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I mm-hmm. took a I took a step back from the music after that. Yeah. Now I'm a, now I'm now I'm off the porch. Right. And that's where the cliche <laughs> rapper shit coming. Yeah. This is where this is this is where it's yeah. a total this, 360. Where it's kind of like yeah. it's like oh shit, nigga, I'm off the porch now. Yeah. Yeah. And That's, and this is where, like, if you listen to my project, this is where a lot of my stories come, come from. Come from. Where I say, can't make it up because I face a lot of trials and tribulations. Just being a young nigga. Yeah. A lot of time on his hand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Being a product of his environment. Right. And then I can only imagine what it, you know, just making music and living an unorthodox life as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Just at that time in your life. And then, boom, now you, like, you know, Cause you didn't see money, you didn't see all this shit. So now your objective is to try to get paid, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, straight up. Yeah, that's and 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 I can understand that. Cause like shit, you like now that's over. How I'm gonna get money now? Cause you ain't been going to school, so you ain't thinking about like school shit. You thinking about hey, bro, adult you shit? Understand? I'm going to OFL, nigga. This yeah. is where this is like continuation. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, yeah, I went there this too. isn't like no, like you got a fucking person. There. I'm at OFL. Yeah, you know, I went there too. Boulevard, nigga. Your packet. Yeah, yeah, it's a packet. So yeah. it's 25 year old people, people in yeah. that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's kind of like by choice. Yeah. So, no, I, I I had to do that the last year of high school. Yeah. So like my senior year, you got kicked out. I fucked up so bad. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I dropped out to like sell drugs. Yeah. I was fucking doing crazy shit. And then I show up first day of senior year and they're like, you're not graduating. Right. My first day. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? They're like, yeah, you fucked up two years. Damn. And it hit me in one, like one minute, like yeah. right there with my counselor. I was like, oh, well, how do I graduate? She's right. like, you don't. You got to go to OFL and then you got to take classes like at college or some shit yeah. to make up all these units. Literally, and one like, packet is one credit. Fuck. Ain't no teachers in and that I did motherfucker. It. Really? Yeah. They like, fucking hey, you learn it. this shit as you go. Yeah, you teach you go, yourself. Here go, they give you the books and you yeah. teach yourself. You sit yourself yeah. down and fucking do it. It you Gotta sucked. be in there for one hour. It sucked. Yeah, but, but it sucked, but it didn't. It. it was cool, though. It wasn't that bad. I did it, too. It wasn't bad. I hated it. It depends on how you go about it. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. It was shit. Nobody, I ain't got nobody to talk to. Ain't really bothering me. You go talk to, and then usually the little teacher or the little person they give you, they ain't talking about shit. They just like, yeah, whatever. Was yours fire? Mine was fire. I went to, I went to the one at morning. Nah, bro, your teacher. <laughs> like, your teacher. Huh? Was your teacher fire? It was this little old lady named Miss Daniels, and she was cool. She was actually bro, cool. She my teacher was like twenty two years old. Damn. I was like, damn. But she knew I wasn't. I was giving high my school, teacher so. a lot of <laughs> posters and all kind of shit for me. I'm like, yo, could you look out for him? <laughs> yeah. You got a husband? Here go some shoes. There you go. For That's real. So you just had mad shoes? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty That's fire. a great, hey, you had that business mind. Yeah. I'm young. Shit. So that's good. Yep. Damn, that's crazy. So just going back a little bit, when you were doing those shows, those school tours, do you remember like, do you remember them? Like, yeah. do you remember like going out and performing and at that age? Hell yeah. You remember that? Like, yeah. what was... Just walk me through that. Yeah. What was that? I never got to do that, so I don't know what that. I feels did like. see a school show though. So like, what? Come <laughs> high school, like nah, that's that's sh- them shits is crazy. Yeah. But for me, like, I was always ahead of time. I'm like, yo, all this shit's wrong. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm looking at other kids. Like, I'm like, damn, they got managers and flyers, and I'm like, I'm just out here thugging for real. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm like, shit, nigga, I gotta <laughs> keep pushing. Yeah. You know, like, and that's like now my when it comes to the music business, I understand it. Mm-hmm. You see the business side. I see the I'm strictly business. Yeah. Like now, yeah. this shit totally different, but it took all of that shit to happen. Yes. Yeah. Like you, know, you said, the gift and the but curse. The, the actual, like. Them shits was crazy. Yeah, like the. Because rush. I'm a kid. Yeah, the dopamine. And they're kids. Like how you felt. Like you must have been fucking, like, on Look, 10. Like, yeah. You know? Chasing me and all kind of shit. <laughs> you know, they funny. just know, like, hey, it's a rapper here. Yeah. yeah. Funny. They don't crazy. they don't know the backside of the shit or no. what's really going on. They like he's he's a rapper. He's a rapper and he's here to rap for us and he's our age. Exactly. That's how, fucking how crazy. are you not in school? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we are. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If it was me, if I was like an audience member, I'd be like, yo, how do I get that? That's crazy. You know and that's saying? literally why I rap for the dude at my at my school. Damn. Because I seen how dope them niggas look. Right. That's literally what it was. I'm like, yo, I, I need that right there. That's fine. That's fucking sick. Yeah. 
want to make sure can we have him spin the tap tune oh yeah so boom we got this little part of the show this little segment called the tap tune wheel those are chords bro you're you too high so you look too high <laughs> boom we know how you spin it you get three spins all right don't be scared of that thing you get three spins on the wheel okay oh, hold on let me move this don't like be afraid to do. spin it let's see what let's oh. see what's going on the finesse Cop or drop. All right, we're gonna show you something up here. You tell us if you cop it or drop it. All right, big. Let's see. The Cullinan. Are you fucking with it? <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. I mean, with gas right now, I'd understand <laughs> dropping this. Are, are we speaking of this one in specifically? The Chrome Hearts Cullinan. Are you fucking with it or not? I cop that motherfucker. There you go. <laughs> so that's a cop. That's a for sure. Yeah. That's fire. I, I'm copping it too. I don't blame yeah. you. I cop it too. Yeah. yeah. Just the buttons alone on the little that, piece. guess if you you're not worried about gas. So. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Give, give that him That should look like some Grand Theft Auto shit for real though. That's give, fire though. Give him another spin. All right. Yeah. Get the spin. You get two more. All right. Let's see what happens. A little bit more finesse. And what we got? Uh... Cap or no cap? So the question is: you This is Jew's question. He wrote you, this. You himself. see, you seen the infamous slap between Mill Smith and uh, Chris Rock? Do you feel like that was fake? I kind of feel like it was staged a little bit. Man. Like, it, go ahead. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm In the say. beginning, I thought that shit was fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dead ass. I'm like, this nigga ain't just go on this bitch and slap this nigga for real. I'm like, buddy couldn't have done that. There's no right. way. I didn't see it coming. And then walked away like that, like. On some gangster shit for uh, real. Smiling. I felt like yeah. it was edited because you ever seen like in a movie, like in, when Will Smith's in a movie, Chris Rock, yeah, like, yeah, like he throws a punch and they and he slaps his arm. I right, felt like his arm. It felt very. And like, I'm like, why would he do it though? That's so weird. Yeah, it seemed like such a it's, random. It's surreal. It's not even real. That's yeah, the crazy part. Yeah, it's like, why did that nigga do that? But so, on some real shit, Jew, would you have done it? Um. <laughs> More importantly, <laughs> I, I would have got a, I would have got after him a different way. I just felt like it was a, that wasn't the right time or place for that. Like, you know, I'm not trying to make it racial, but you, you know, you can't be going up and slapping another black man like that. And you guys are both professionals. You know what I mean? Like, you could have got after him later. Like after the cameras, we here to represent us, and we don't really get that chance to win that award. It's only five of us as men. Who yeah, got to right? It's twenty of us together. Shout so out that's, to him, he won. Yeah. yeah, but guess what? It's gonna be remembered as the <laughs> night that he slapped the fuck. Out hey, of but Chris he Rock. Went, That's history, though. That's, that's history, history too. History, history, though. It that is. was the first time. You right? can't make no, it up. Man. So look, that's this so is can't make it up. So this is why I be like, this is some movie shit, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's why I be like, art imitates real life because you can't make that up. You couldn't <laughs> have like wrote that in the script. People would have thought that was like uh, way can't off. Can't make it up. Like can't that. make it up. Man. That's no cap. Name of the project. No Streaming cap. is everywhere. Can't make it up. <laughs> so that was no cap. No cap. No, that's he, crazy. I, I did see his legs wobble though. I was like, ooh, he ate that shit. <laughs> that nigga said he, he was lost. He was lost. He was lost. His face, you saw him after? He was yeah. like, his shit looked like. He, 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 no, in his defense, that's, he has a thing. That's how he talks. Oh. He slapped the and so he slapped the handicap man. Dang. No, Chris Rock's not handicap. It's just his like when he talks, he has that's like, Will that's Smith talks. Though. Yeah, he get a pass for everything. Everything that's and look, he would have got anybody else. They would have been escorted out for sure. Yeah, yeah. sought everything. That's Will Smith, nigga. That's, but what's what's I am legend? What's that nigga name? Yeah, I am legend. Come on, man. But in that friends, case, a too. wait. One other thing, I don't want to dwell too long on this, but look. <laughs> If you if you if you famous right and your life is like in public eyes view, you can't be mad. You 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 decided to be here, so Bro, don't. Any other comedian, if it were Paul Mooney, he would have destroyed Will Smith. Like you, they comedians make fun of everybody. Yeah. Think about uh, that English dude Ricky Gervais. He's not allowed to do the Golden Globes anymore because he went so hard on every single actor and actress. Right. See? Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of like the, and I thought Chris Rock was kind of tame. You know what I'm saying? I was like, "Damn, this isn't You ever seen Chris Rock but, do stand up? Chris Rock stand up is amazing, right, especially right. his old shit. His routines are fucking hilarious. And but, he goes hard. Yeah, I just think that that shit was so uncalled that was for. like I was like, bro, that's not. I mean, has Will Smith seen I, Chris Rock's? 
like jokes. I'm all with jumping on a nigga, but do it at a different time. That's Outside. It. That's I what feel. I would have done. Got busy. Got busy. Make a nigga feel that. Like, yeah, you know? But he felt that, though. Easy. He call. slapped that nigga the next week. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. You I get what I'm saying? Let's see what happens. That's the slap heard across, around the world. That, that's history right there. Big history. Yeah. 100%. Ooh, top three dead or alive. What's your Damn. top three artists? It could be albums. It this could be songs. One. But like, if you had to listen to three on repeat, what would it be? I'm going uh, Jeezy, Thug Motivation 101. Ooh. Damn. That's number one. Shout out Jeezy. Nigga like, yeah, for real. The world is yours. I'm going uh, Carter Three. Oof. Mixtape or album? Because there is a difference. There's a Carter Three mixtape? <laughs> Get, leave, bro. All right, fuck it. If, it, if, if we going, look, if we going, <laughs> if we going like that, I'm going to go Drought Three. There you go. Oh. Game changer. There you go, Game changer. All right. Game changer. If you didn't have Drought that away three. message right. on your sidekick, you wasn't talking about nothing. <laughs> No, you didn't have a bar off a of little lane on your away message. Your away message. Come on, man. Don't talk to me. Come on, I, I, I'm, I'm going drought three then. Fuck it. Okay, I like that. You get one more since you switched it up. All right, bet. Then we go go. Um, shit, let's go. Damn, that's a crazy one. But let's 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 just throw in some type of Drake album. Fuck it. There you go. Yeah. So something in his catalog. Any something Drake. In, some some in. Tell me his catalog for sure. Man got bars though. And yeah. people be saying like, sometimes I'll be going back and forth about does he actually have bars? And then like, is he actually like. You go back and forth about Drake having bars? Are you crazy? No, cause sometimes I be like, some shit be sounding cheesy and then I gotta let it grow on me. And then I be like, oh, this went over my head the first time. Most of it's cheesy, but it's yeah. still bars. Yeah, but <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, sometimes the shit go no. over my head and I be like, oh, that shit was hard. Yeah, his shit, you really gotta, you gotta sit on buddy shit. Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just on like if we if we go go mainstream with it, right? Yeah, right. No, then I might have thrown Dom. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, shout yeah. out Dom Kennedy. Dom we Kennedy need to get Dom Kennedy on the show. Yeah, yeah. Dom's a cool. That's guy, a man. fact. We've had like every LA dude except Dom. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Um, that's crazy as fuck. So let's fast forward a little bit. So post ninth grade or eighth grade, like after you come off the tour, all that. You link up with your homie. You get to start making music again. Like, at what point do you end up putting like music at the very front of your list, like where it becomes your life? Is it at that point, or is it later down the line? Look, so ninth grade, after that situation, it yeah. should get crazy. And it's a lot of shit, nigga. Um, me and Problem get a record at the height of his career. That shit yeah. on Power One Hundred Six. Oh, yeah, that shit on that shit on that shit on the radio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he threw me a verse, that shit on the radio. I link up with some cool niggas and we pushing. Um, I'm on Grand Theft Auto. I got a record with Warren G. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's just a lot I of shit. That. Yeah, that yeah, shit's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, so boom. Shout out Warren G, man. But R. like G. I say, it's then, then it's the, so I'm like, all right, man, this shit about to work. You know, like, yeah. like, like a lot of shit is in my favor for me not to really know what the fuck going on with this music shit. Right. Like, it's just kind of like connect, like, hey, yo, nigga, I spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fuck it. Yeah. Hey, you, you got a record with problem? Yeah. All right, let's put, let let me call Charisma. And let's get this shit on the radio. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. I'm in my, I'm in the back house. My mom back house. Fuck <laughs> it, let's do it. Studio <laughs> yeah. back there. I'm recording out the back. So I'm like, all right, hey, let's try to be for real with this shit. I already, I'm, I'm out of school still, trying to get this shit. I said, let's let's put it up there. Yeah. You know what? And that's when I when I really got busy with it. Damn. Yeah, I don't know how he said this is like this, uh, 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 like a normal story. This is not a normal story, bro. Like, Man, you know, because uh, niggas gotta yeah, understand. He goes, I'm with Warren G yeah, on yeah, GTA. I'm, I'm like, GTA. what? <laughs> no, no, but niggas gotta understand though, because he didn't ask about music. Like, yeah. niggas gotta separate music from your real life. Okay, got it. Like, right. music wise, this shit is wild. Yeah, okay. But, but my real life is yeah, totally yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, I got what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. But music, this shit wild. I'd be like, how the fuck that happened? I went to London, all kind of shit. So this is just all off of uh, <laughs> speaking to niggas. Yeah. Just shooting your shot. Yeah, yeah. Like my cousin wind up dating a, dating a nigga, tapped in, that nigga wind up being plugged in. Pull up to the crib, he listened to my music, he said, you hard, fuck it, let's go. I said, nigga, oh, yeah. I was about it was wild. I, I, I I'm 
I'm I'm like fucking with it. Like shit, shit is yeah. just fun. So like, I get what you're saying. Like uh, you have to take this shit seriously because it's like it's kind of aligning itself for you. So like, well, right. not aligning itself because you are putting in the work, right? And you're taking those shots, right? You're being prepared when opportunity meets, you know, timing. You know, your prep. You know, you're be. How do I say this? Or opportunity meets preparation like you get what i'm saying and you're ready for it you get what i mean so yeah. that's what's taking you to these you right see the moment and yeah, yeah. But the yeah. problem was though was like when i was pulling when i was at ofl right i'm 15 16 but i'm pulling up in the cls 500. right Damn. right right i always right. knew i wanted i always knew i wanted to get some money yeah nigga streams and show school that shit wasn't paying me right you know so the the seriousness behind it it was always kind of hit or miss with it Right. Like right now is the most serious I've ever been with music. Today. Today. Yeah. Right. Good. Like literally. But you feel like does a lot of that have to do with like circumstances in your life or did it have to do with like because it's the moment now? Like did you, it was a feeling. I had right? told like, I had told myself that that um whenever I dove back into music that I find I'd be able to I'd be able to make a lot of moves by myself because right. I seen how fucked up the business was. Right, you know what I'm saying. And you kind of learned your lessons. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, and yeah. my and I had a kid. See, biggest blessing. That's all I was about to say. Like there's, literally, yeah. there's always like it a was, yeah. It was a setup. It was like, hey, whatever I'm doing outside of this music shit, I only can stand in front of a bullet so many times before I get hit. Right, you know. And I linked up with some some good people, some good brothers. You yeah, I was gonna ask like so hot, so boom. How'd you get in contact with you know with the whole good brother situation? It's crazy, nigga. I was <laughs> rocking with them when I was 16. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> like, bro, the shit is so random. That's it's, how that came together? Yeah. Explain my, one that. Of, one of my partners that I'm that I'm rocking with, he a uh, older dude, and he they having a high school thing. I got a little CD. Yeah. He was like, hey, listen to this. He said, hey, that nigga hard. And I link up with Vaughn and Jay Rich, and okay. they like, yo. Shout out to those guys. Man. Yeah. And that's how wow. that shit happened. But then, like I say, Regular life shit. I, I take a step back from the music when all this shit happening, and then we just linked back up. So this was with Vaughn and Jay Rich. Yeah. And for the listeners and people that don't know, like that's your is it like management or how does that work? They have an indie label. A label. Yeah. Right. There you go. Yeah. So it's a label and um tell everybody the name. It's called just Good Brother name. Music Group. Good Brother Music. Group. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um. So speaking of music, because I do want to talk about the project because it just dropped. March 25th, right? Yep. March 25th. I got it. Um, so I was listening to the album. I, When I listen to shit, I like to just like favorite it in Spotify. Yeah. And then bring it up with artists. <laughs> so I'm literally going to pull up your album with you. Um, all right. So this is Can't Make It Up. Uh, so I really fucking, I, I enjoyed, you have eight tracks in total. Um, advice, Chances, Yeah. Uh, Hunt or Prey I really fucked with Yeah um, You even address Like a lot of shit Like on one, on one of them You were talking about Like uh, You're like Yeah um, I don't gang bang But I stay on my business Or some shit Yeah Right Like yeah. that was literally Was that Chances That was Hunter Prey Okay Hunter Prey Exactly yeah. So ha Some of the shit You heard in this interview This man puts in his lyrics You know what yeah. I'm saying Like you actually Like story tell Yeah Which I appreciate Cause like I listen to a lot of music as like a fucking host of a fucking yeah. music show. I love music. So I was listening to your project and I was like, shit caught me. Cause I was like, I can tell this is real. Yeah. Do you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, I can tell like, this isn't like made up. You're really not like, from yeah, Long, yeah just, really from like LA, yeah. from like Long Beach area for right. sure. Yeah. yeah. You like I've it. heard people say like, I got M's in my bank account thousands of times. Like right. I don't need another, I don't need another song like that. Yeah. All you know what I'm saying? Like, give me all the capping. Give me something like different. That I, I never knew how niggas was in the. Uh, they 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 dove in the game rich. I never got that <laughs> shit. <laughs> doesn't make sense. That don't make sense. Yeah, doesn't make sense. And I like a story. I feel like as a listener, I like a story that I can get on. Like yeah. I like a tra like I like to be able to get on the train. You know what I mean? Like if I like you in the beginning, I want to watch you ascend. Exactly. Right? So I feel like for people that haven't heard the album stream the project, run it up, um, and there's videos coming for it. Yep. You said, can we talk about that? Or you already did one, cool. right? The, uh, yeah, Hunter Prey. Yeah, well, Hunter Prey has a video, but, yep. but the, the video with Mozzie was out too, right? Yep, and Love Me For Me with Mozzie. Shout out Mozzie. Yeah. 
how'd that happen? That's another rapper. Yeah, I was gonna talk to. Yeah, how did you guys link up? Me and my um, I was shooting a video. I had the record done. Wow. Literally, I shot the video for it by myself. <laughs> That's Straight crazy. Up. Then I told my my cameraman, I was like, "Hey man, uh, see if you can plug me with Mozzie." Mm. That nigga, your same cameraman? Day, yeah, literally the day <laughs> the day that I shout shot out the video. The cameraman. <laughs> yeah, the day I shot the video, the nigga, I was like, "Hey bro, this shit need Mozzie on it." I was like, wow. calling call niggas up. Literally, me and Mozzie, we FaceTime. That was we was it. in the studio the next day. I was like, fuck the, fuck the video shoot. we shot. <laughs> we gonna shoot another one. We gonna shoot another one. Was that the video? <laughs> yeah. That you can? Yep. <laughs> that for sure was one of them. That's funny as yeah. fuck. I was like, man, I was like, I waste the bread for the space, all that. I said, fuck it. We, we throw yeah. Mozzie on this record. <laughs> and that's how that shit happened. Yeah, Mozzie's a shout out, man. He's that's a real nigga, man. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, solid nigga, for sure. So for... The project, what are some songs that um, are getting videos or that you can at least talk about? Uh, Chances. Okay. Away. And um, we probably go, go uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll get one too. Yep. Because that's a fucking good song. Yeah, yeah, appreciate um, it. Yeah, that's crazy. So for, for you making this project, like, what were some, do you have any, like, memories that stand out? Like, anything crazy, like, during the process, like, recording process or people you linked up with, like, what were some highlights of making this project? Every record, I was literally like, whatever that record was about, that was some shit that was happening right there. <laughs> oh shit! Like, so it's ass. like real life, literally like. <laughs> but that's the only way. Like I can't even write a record, like like oh, I'm about to write. I gotta really just be in the mode. Then I call my partner up and be like, nigga, I'ma pull up. Damn. Literally, that's like crazy. Hunter Prey. I'm like, man, these niggas is dying out here. Yeah. You know, we you literally got to pick a side. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. For real. Like it's that, true. All my records came together like that. What's your um, recording process like now? How often do you record? I try to get in there at least three times out the week. That's correct. So yeah. you really, yeah, it really is a job, bro. Yeah. Like it's a legit Do you got job. more shit stacked up right now? I literally like, no bullshit. I got like 100 records recorded. Oh, that's wow. fine. Yeah. So you're sitting on stuff. Yeah. yeah. And the day after I dropped my project, I was back in the studio. <laughs> You're like, fuck that. Yeah, literally. Let's the make day another after, one. I'm like, you know, let me get back in this bitch. What's? So, oh, go for it. No, 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 go for it. Because I have like a closing question. So you guys. No, I was gonna say like, so do you have any performances lined up, or are you planning on performing? Yeah, we got some shit, but it ain't all the way stamp shit. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to say is, especially, I feel like you're qualified <clears throat> to give this advice so like if you're a young rapper or you're like one of these kids like these eighth grade kids that fucking want to rap you I know what i'm saying <laughs> and they like yeah i want to get the fuck out of school and rap and blah blah blah. like what's some advice you have because we have a lot of rappers that are like you know younger and um hungry and fucking you know what i mean like what's some advice because you have that business side down now you kind of took those early lumps you kind of learned all Take that a lot shit. of L's. Right. Lessons. A lot yeah. of lessons. A lot of, a lot of lessons. Exactly. A so whole lot. What's is what's your advice for those people? My best advice is don't take no advice. There don't you go. No. <laughs> like, like, like straight up. Like my best advice is don't, don't, don't take, take no, no advice. advice. Wow. Go with your own. That advice. might be the fucking best thing we've heard. Yeah. Don't take no advice. Like when that. literally when I record, nigga, I don't I don't want no opinions. I don't even like sending my records out. It's just, because it's kind of like, nigga, this is what I was on. That's it. This is what it is. This is the art. This is it. This is me. It's easier that Damn. way. It's easier being you. I agree 100%. So I don't man. give a fuck what you doing on that record. You 100%. just do that shit. Somebody go connect to it. Yeah. Fact. If you being yourself for real. Wow. This is true. Yeah. Bro, first of all, thank you so much for tapping in with us, man. I appreciate you. We appreciate it. Yes. Um, for as far as your like social media, um, all of that shit, like what's the best? Like, what's the best place for people to stay tapped in? Like on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Give us your handle. Spell yeah, it out say for it for the people. It's D R I E W W. D R I E W W. Yes, sir. And then, um, as far as YouTube, they can just look it up, right? Yeah, yeah. Everything could be in my bio. It's all the same okay, shit. Okay, yeah, cool. Amazing, man. Thank you so much for tapping I in with us. I appreciate y'all for real. We appreciate it. Um, do you have anything coming up uh, as far as the videos? Do you have like dates? Nah, just be on the lookout. Man. Just be on the lookout. Yeah. Just, yep. tap just in, jump, go stay tap tapped in. in. It'll fucking be on his page. You'll see it on his. He'll, he'll promote the shit. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, man, thank you so much for tapping in with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for tapping in. Continue to subscribe. Yes, sir. Hit the bell. Stay tapped in. We're tapping out. 
already. 